right, Black and White Network supporters, I can't say that anything in this day and time actually surprises me. I don't think this surprises me at all, but it is sad. It's very indicative of where everything is at in this country right now. We are so divided on all kinds of issues, and to hear this kind of thing just out in the open in America, pretty shocking. But then again, I never thought that there would be thousands upon thousands of people in the streets three years ago or two years ago. Yeah, three years ago now, uh, burning everything to the ground. I didn't think that would happen and there not be SWAT teams and militarized police forces coming through to just, you know, sweep the streets up of the criminals running amok. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My bad, Antifa and the BLM protesters, but you get my point. You know where I'm going. Um, but nonetheless, we, we, we're going to talk about Oakland, California. Now, we know that's as woke as it gets. That is pro- as progressive as it gets. You know, Gavin Newsom, he's not, too, not from too far away from there. They're radical governor. And uh, the city city council meeting they had, it devolved badly. And there was a lot of shit said that's going to make you, and we got video of it, going to make you just shake your head in disbelief. Um, But that's where we're at. Uh, Americans wanting permanent ceasefires, not not a ceasefire for a couple of days. Permanence, just let Hamas off. Let them off the hook. Just let them go. Nothing to see here. No consequences. And there are people that are going to read, and it's funny because there's a lot of just white social justice warriors on this video. There's some that's not, too, but you can see one right there uh, that's in this. But uh, radicalized universities, extremely left-leaning area. And if you live in these areas, this is what you're living amongst right now. Anti-Israel protesters defend Hamas as Oakland City Council meeting descends into chaos over ceasefire resolution. That's right. I'm trying to figure out why are city council meetings even meeting on this issue? This is more of like a global issue, an issue for the leaders at the, at the highest level. And I understand it's a shit show at the highest level in our country right now, but you get the point. Why is a city council wasting their time on this? I, I, I'm kind of baffled by that, especially in a, in a town, a city, where crime is nearly as bad as Chicago. Uh, I'm just wondering. I mean, once again, this tells you leftist priorities are just all jacked up. They care about all the wrong shit. There, I just said it. The city council in Oakland, California, ununanimously passed a resolution Monday calling for a permanent ceasefire in the Israel-Hamas war while spurning language that would have condemned the terrorist group for the October 7th massacre following an uproar from anti-Israel protesters. Councilman Dan Cobb's amendment spotlighting Hamas's role in the slaughter of an estimated 1,200 people across southern Israel was rejected 6-2. to two. The proposal was met by boos from demonstrators who condemned the language as, quote, anti-Arab, with some going as far as to spread conspiracy theories that Israel defense forces had slaughtered Jews to justify an inge- wow justify an invasion of Gaza are you kidding me right now there have not been beheadings of babies and rapings israel murdered their own people on october 7th one woman told the city council guys we've got this video right here Let's just listen. There have not been beheadings of babies and rapings. Israel murdered their own people on October 7th. Calling Hamas a terrorist organization is ridiculous, racist, and plays into genocidal propaganda that is flooding our media and that we should be doing everything possible to combat. 
I support the right of Palestinians to resist occupation, including through Hamas, the armed wing of the unified Palestinian resistance. As an Arab, wow. asking with this context to condemn Hamas is very anti-Arab racist. The notion that this was a massacre of Jews is a fabricated narrative. Many of those killed on October Thank 7th... Thank you, ma'am. Your time is up including children were killed by the IDF. Wow. An amendment condemning Hamas is bald propaganda meant to... Thank you, your time is up. To hear them complain about Hamas violence is like listening to a wife beater complain when his wife finally stands up and fights back. Question, did anyone else notice that those who oppose this resolution are old white supremacists? There's been a lot of atrocity <laughs> propaganda ranging from claims of beheaded babies to mass rape. Hamas is not a terrorist organization just because the U.S. and Israel um, deems it so. Hamas is a resistance organization that is fighting for the liberation of Palestinian people and their land. Wow. So that was the city council meeting, and that was the crap that spewed out of the mouths of these people. And look, I understand you can't believe a lot of things that's on the media. We all know that. If we didn't know that, this channel wouldn't exist. Okay, that's the, the, the rise of citizen journalism wouldn't be so, such a thing now. Nobody's going to trust what CNN and MSNBC's got to say, and I get that. But my goodness, whoa. To think that the IDF slaughtered their own people? I, I'm, I'm, I was floored by that. That was a new one. That's honestly, and, and guys, I haven't lately, the last week, I've just gotten sort of tired of hearing so much about this war, and I kind of moved on to things here in this country that I am concerned about. But these people are here in this country. That's the thing. So Dan Cobb did not immediately respond to the post for comment that his resolution was rejected. The Oakland resolution ultimately passed without any charged language against Hamas or Israel, with Councilman Carol Fife noting that it went through four drafts to, in order to be depoliticized it. In order to depoliticize it. Okay. Instead, the measure focused solely on calling for Congress to support a permanent ceasefire in Gaza along with enduring the release of all hostages held by Hamas. It also urged a more humanitarian aid in the Palestinian enclave. Oakland is the latest American municipality to vote on such a resolution, joining the likes of Detroit, Atlanta, and Providence. Many, cities to pass, many of the cities to pass such resolutions have large Arab communities. The resolution came during an extension to a fragile truce agreement between Israel and Hamas, which is set to expire on Wednesday with the release of 10 more hostages. Despite negotiators' claims that both sides appear willing to extend the ceasefire for another two days, no agreement has been reached as of Wednesday morning. That's the people living with you in the United States right now, the people that got up there reading all this. Did you see the teacher in, I think it was New York, the Jewish teacher that had to, like, hide because there was essentially a riot in the school? I mean, guys, this, this, is, this is crazy. And what's weird is it's an implosion of the Democratic Party. It, it, it's imploding from the inside out because now the progressives have sit, hit such a progressive radical level that they're imploding and Democrats in the party are the, that are voting Democrat. They're leaving because they're like, whoa, you guys are crazier than hell and we've got to get the hell away from you. And because of that, the, the radicals are so mad at Joe Biden, they're pulling their votes away Democrats are pulling their votes away to the other side, going to vote probably for President Trump. It's, it's crazy, not to mention the, all the extra parties that are going to end up running. I don't know. There's going to have to be shenanigans of a gargantuan level for Trump not to run away with this election. Honestly, in today's climate, forget about it. He's got to run away as long as there's no shenanigans. Oakland, 
Oakland. An, <laughs> Oakland is Chicago light, folks. That's all it is. This is crazy that there are people in this country that think this way. I saw this and was like, oh, yeah, I'm sharing this on a video because, well, Looney Tunes. Wow. Peace them out. Till next time.